welcome you all in this session we are going to discuss the symmetrical fault analysis through bus impedance matrix outcome after successful completion of this session the student would able to frame or analyze the short circuit fault through bus impedance matrix symmetrical fault analysis through bus impedance matrix the fault analysis of big complex networks are performed by using z bus matrix because it is simplicity to implement by using computer program the various steps involved are discussed below once the bus impedance is constructed symmetrical fault analysis can be carried out by very few calculation bus voltage and current in various elements can be computed quickly when a fault is to be simulated at different buses this is pro proved to be good symmetrical short circuit analysis essentially consists of determining the steady state solution of linear network with balanced resource since the short circuit current are much larger compared to a pre-fault current the following assumptions are made while considering the short circuit study all the shunt parameters like load line charging admittance are neglected all transformer taps are at normal position prior uh, to fault all generators are assumed to operate at rated voltage of 1 per unit with their emf or in phase when these assumptions in the pre fault condition there will not be any current flow in the network and all bus voltage are equal to 1 per unit the linear network has solved comprises of transmission network generation system and fault by properly combining the representations of above three components we can solve the short circuit problem consider a transmission network as shown in figure it consists of three buses bus 1 2 and 3 so you can see in this given power system you has three bus bus 1 bus 2 and bus 3 the, the admittance between the bus 1 and 3 is y2 admittance between the bus 1 and 2 is y1 and 2 and 3 is y3 taking the ground reference bus y bus is equal to y y1 plus y2 minus y1 minus y2 and minus y1 y1 plus y3 minus y3 minus y2 minus y3 y2 plus y3 and here you can see the off diagonal elements are same if we add all the columns we get the column of all zero elements hence this y bus matrix is singular and hence corresponding z bus matrix of transmission network does not exist thus when all the shunt parameters are neglected z bus matrix will not exist for the transmission network Cons however connection to ground is established at generator bus representing representing to generator as a constant voltage source behind appropriate reactance diagram so the reactance diagram is shown if the generator reactants are individual sorry include with the transmission network z bus matrix of combined network can be obtained as started earlier there is no current flowing through the network in pre-fault condition in all the bus voltage will be one per unit consider the network shown in figure the symmetrical fault occurring at bus 2 so the fault occurrence is denoted by zf it occurs in bus 2 and can be simulated by closing the switch shown in figure here zf is the fault current impedance so when the fault is stimulated 
there will be a current in the different element and bus voltage is different from one per unit. Thus, the change has occurred because of generator voltage and the field current. And general power system with a network generation and n number of bodies subjected to symmetrical fault at P. P bus will be represented as shown in figure. In the fault system, there are two types of sources. Source 1 is current injected at the faulted bus and the second one is the generated voltage source. The bus voltages is in the faulted system can be obtained by superposition of the superposition theorem. Thank you.